Hey everyone, Case here. Welcome back to Goosebumps Horror Town. It's time for the 2019 Halloween event. I'm also actually kind of wondering when we're going to get permanent stuff as well. It's been a while. It seems like a lot of the updates we've been getting have been limited time stuff. But that's okay. Let's see what we got. Ah, uh, Halloween Eve. Kids go trick-or-treating. Neighbors scare the producers out of one another. And monsters can inspicuously blend in. Is there a better time of year? Not counting ice cream day, of course. Obtain six pumpkins. If I do, I will get one goosebump buck, 600 of the event currency, and 100 of the XP. Max level is still 51. So to get the pumpkins, we're going to have to send different characters off like the magic assistant. I actually never released a video for this character. I meant to do it, and then I just forgot about it. We've also got witch masks, and that's it for this character. And we've got Lucy. Anything else with Halloween fun? There's an apple. That looks new. Dustin. Brooke. Eric. Sharon. Sunny. This keeps going. Sam. A lot of characters. Must be, what, six, seven characters? Isn't that adorable? Lucy with her trick or treat bag. Is that Lucy? I don't know. Maybe. It won't let me tap her. Yeah, it's Lucy. And then we've got the magic assistant. Anything else? No, nothing else. What is this ball thing in the bottom here? You have 28 inactive characters. I can assign them all for 1400 gold. That's so cool. But I guess they've added this in, which is so awesome. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I love that option. I wish more games would do that. In terms of the actual update though, it is called Horrorland Carnival, or the Carnival of Horrors. A seasonal event has arrived in Horror Town and complete the exclusive collection before the time ends. 18 days as a recording of this video. Play new animation, craft new items, play a new scene. It's, that's the, the basis of this game in general. And these are all the different items available in this update. We got the Tree Shrine, Fred's Pharmacy for 1,000 of the currency. So it's like a witch type character. Gummy Bear Stand. I want to see that was actually available last year. I don't know. Flatable Madman. That's pretty... Terrifying. Headless Horseman for 300. Other Goosebumps Mix I have 227. I'll see if I can try to get that before the 18 days is over. Bride and Groom Skeleton. Is that a character? Looks like it could be. Giant Balloon Spider. Bunch of different lanterns. Jack o' Lantern Box. Jack in the Box. Wooden Cliff Tower. A green Jack o' Lantern. Haunted Cauldron, Lawn Cemetery for 100, a lot of cool looking trees and things of that nature. Purple lights, green lights, floating candles, I think I remember that from last year actually. Flavorable Spiders, Flavorable Vampire, there's a lot of stuff in this update. Crocodile Pond for 4,000. We got a character with the Chiller's Mansion for 450. Ooh, horror statue for 8,000. Ghost train for 12,000. That looks really cool. And an apple tree for 100. Very cool. And the end prize of all of this is the horror monument. And it looks so cool. It's from the book. At least the, the monster anyway. It's going to require. Nine fear perfumes, five pumpkin pie, 
nine Halloween costumes, and nine golden tickets. And this is going to be all in the event area, which is over here. So this here is the craftable area. No, it's not. It's a chiller shop. They changed it. Normally they put that there. So where is... Oh, hold on a second. Jonathan Chiller is the name. Uh, okay, so it's... It's the monster. Maybe it's a Ferris wheel. No, that's the event area for the pop-up. All right, here we go. Carnival Warehouse is way on the side here. So we're definitely going to need five of the pumpkin pie. That should be easy enough to get. Because they're all like 15-minute quests. The apples... Basically send characters off to get the apples, and then of course the roaches to go is from the monster's diner. There's a fear perfume, but in order to get that we need the pumpkin box, which is all pumpkins, and then the cardboard periscopes from the Many Mysteries Club. There's a Halloween costumes down below, and that's going to require a bunch of different things, like the ghost costume here, which is the blankets, ghost dog tag, which is the ghost Hound's tomb scene, and then the fur perfume. What was the last one? Hold on, I'm confusing myself here. Oh, the golden tickets. Oh, the chiller scene. Where's the chiller scene? Is that the very first item over here? So I've already sent all these characters off, at least the free ones, it's going to be 40%. And if I buy the character, it's going to go up to 80%. So this is great. But how many do I need? Is it nine? Oh boy, that is going to be really, really difficult. Okay, well, you know what? I'm going to do the best I can to try for this. But no guarantees. Although I definitely do like it an awful lot. So make sure you do a lot of the crafting. Do the storyline as well, because you do get a lot of the tokens and things of that nature. And of course, if you want to go for that cool end item... You do have to play the scene as well. I will definitely try to go for a premium character. The one who is 300. I just have to find it. It was a Hellish Horseman. They don't actually do anything for this. The one I would really have to go for would be Jonathan Chiller, which is 450. But I don't think I'm going to be able to get that much in time, unfortunately. We'll see what happens towards the end of the update. If I can get Jonathan Chiller, I will definitely go for it. Else, I will go for the Hellish Horseman for sure. So I'll see you with probably a bunch of the different characters because they do cost the event currency. And then the premium character, probably the Hellish Horseman, and the 2019 Halloween update. So thank you everybody so much for watching, and I will see you on the next one. Bye-bye, everybody.